Artificial intelligence is a relatively new topic for many of us, uh, and some have erroneously equated it uh, with advanced or predictive analytics. Uh, to help situate AI, um, actually it was, um, it was Jamie who put together a very interesting slide that uh, we were searching for right now. In the meantime, you, we can look at this one. Um, so what we're trying to show is that um, artificial intelligence is beyond deep learning, beyond predictive analytics, beyond machine learning. I mean, it, it involves all of the elements that you see on this slide. And as was mentioned in a previous presentation, what's at the basis of all of this is extremely good data. But artificial intelligence should not be equated with any of those that are there. These are building blocks that essentially will lead to um, what we're, we're calling artificial intelligence. Okay? So with this context in mind, I'm going to get the discussion going with our panelists um, and ask them my first question. Given the distinction that we are talking about between advanced and predictive analytics and artificial intelligence, what early forms of AI are we beginning to see in the insurance industry? Sure. Um, the, the, the mythical slide that's being discussed uh, was a conversation of um, you know, recognizing, and many of you will have been familiar with Gartner's approach to analytics, where they speak about descriptive and diagnostic analytics, uh, predictive analytics, and prescriptive. Um, and we're recognizing that advanced analytics, predictive analytics, the deployment of smart analytics um, may look very much like AI in its practical application, in its use. But that AI tools specifically are a set of tools that are uh, programs that are not programmed for a specific item, there are a set of tools that are programmed to learn. So the example that we talked about on our phone call earlier was, um, you know, Kasparov lost uh, a game of chess to a computer. That computer was programmed to play chess. Um, a, a year ago, um, Lisa Dahl, the world's, uh, one of the world's best ranked Go players, lost in three match straight. Uh, Go is a very complex game, strategy game. Um, it lost three games straight, he lost three games straight to an AI. And what that meant was this was a program that was taught to learn, not taught to play Go. It was just set up to learn and then it played many, many, many games of Go and eventually played itself and eventually beat the world's best player. 